Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video, we are going to talk about the Animal Kingdom tricks to remember. If you are preparing Animal Kingdom chapter and you don't find it quite uh, easy to recall all the important concepts and all the in important informations, then this video is just for you. That will help you to understand Animal Kingdom with the help of short tricks. So let's take a color first and let's begin. The first thing that we want to talk about is this classification hierarchy that is present there. And in this case, we know that uh, from the start of Porifera till the end of Cordate, and there are so many different phylums are present for invertebrates, right? So animal classification always start with this uh, particular sentence. You can, if you remember this sentence, you can recall all the steps and all the different phylums of uh, invertebrates and for this to remember you need to know this picture ponytail okay ponytail in this planet is an art of modern era ponytail in this planet is an art of modern era if you remember that you can prepare uh, all the different name of the phylums of invertebrates start with po with porifera then n i nidaria although nidaria starts with c but you can use that as a homophonic sound t capital t for Tinophora. Tinophora also start with C, but again, Tinophora, homophonic T. So, ponytail goes with Porifera, Nidaria, Tinophora. Then, PLA, Platy Helminths. Uh, okay. And then, Nimat Helminths. Any Nimat Helminths, which is also known as Ask Helminths. Okay. Then, AN, Anelida. Then, ART, Arthropoda. Then, MO, Molasca. And then, E, Echinodermata. So these are all the different phylum names of invertebrates and this is how easily you can remember all the different phylums of invertebrates in the proper sequential order. Porifera, Nidaria, Tinophora, Platyhelminths, Nematelminths, Anelida, Arthropoda, Molasca and Echinodermata. Okay? So this is about the animal kingdom classification of the invertebrate phylum. Okay? Now let's look at uh, the chordata and non chordata properties and the difference between the two. For that, you need to know one thing. Tanvir is not a good doctor. So, it's about a doctor who is not good at his profession. But Tanvir, look at the spelling is little different. Tanvir. Tanvir again is another Indian name. If you're not an Indian person, then you should know Tanvir is an Indian name. So, you can go with Tanvir is not a good doctor. So, start with that. Tanvir is not a good doctor. So, start with uh, chordata. T A tail present, V E ventral heart, V E H E R. This means ventral heart. Okay, so tan V T A N goes with tail present, and V E H E R is the ventral heart. And N O T not means notochord present. G for gill slits present in pharynx, and D O dorsal nervous system is also present. So this is a property of chordates, okay? Tail present, ventral heart, notochord present, gill slits present in the pharynx, dorsal nervous system is also present. So this is all about the chordata properties. Now what about the non-chordata properties? Non-chordata properties are exactly opposite to all the chordata properties. So tail is not present. So think about notochord is absent. Uh, pharynx, uh, pharynx uh, in, in this case of non-chordates, gill slits are absent. Uh, heart is in the dorsal side, well in chordates it's in the ventral side and uh, post anal tail is absent in uh, non-chordates, in chordate post anal tails are present. So exactly the opposite of all the important properties of chordates. That is how you can easily remember the difference between chordate and non-chordate table. Now let's move to the vertebrate classification. And to understand and answer vertebrate classification question, you need to recall one thing that is about the trams, okay? The gorgeous trams that you can see in UK and in Kolkata of India. So think about the terms. Turn the AC in the PCO. This is the very first sentence. Turn the AC in the PCO. PCO is a public phone telephone booth. Uh, earlier present. Right now, they cease to exist. So turn on AC in the PCO. So AC and PCO, these two... Uh, words that are most important so a for agnatha or anatha known as the jaw lacking fish c for cyclostomata okay so anatha and one example of that class is cyclostomata okay then goes with pco p for pisces c for chondrichthys and o for osteichthys so p means pisces pisces there are two classes chondrichthys and osteichthys chondrichthys is cartilaginous fish and osteichthys is bony fish okay 
so this is how you get ac and pco into the anatha and pisces okay and afterwards there are this uh the the other sentence tram t r a m okay so instead of writing t r a m we are writing t a r a m goes with t t for tetrapoda and a for amphibia then the r for reptilia then this a for aves and m for mammalia okay so this is how you remember tram but we are modifying it to taram t a r a m that's how we remember okay t a r a m so t for tetrapod and the among tetrapod means those who bear limbs a for amphibia r for reptilia a for aves and then m for mammalia that's how easy it is to remember all the vertebrate classification with the help of the two sentences turn on ac in the pco simply ac and pco and then tram t a r a m tram okay that's how is it now let's move to uh, last type here non chordate examples so this is very very important to remember the example of different types for chordates you don't need to give uh, you example because you'll know about the amphibians reptiles aves and mammals because we are very close to all this we know about that but for non chordates it sometimes become very difficult for us to remember and recall so for non chordates we need to rely on the examples okay so remember the example of non chordates with the help of these short tricks first of all porifera how to remember psych Psycho sponge, although it's not P S uh, Y C C H O, but it's psycho S I C O. Psycho sponge, psycho for psychon and sponge is spongilla. Both belongs to Porifera. Okay. Second type, Nidaria. How to remember? George Adams explained physics with pen. George Adams explained physics with pen. So George, George Nia, uh, or Gorgonia actually in this case, Gorgonia or Georgonia, C fan. Then Adams. Adamsia, then physics P H Y Faisalia, and with a pen Penatula, known as C pen as well. Okay, this is how you remember the examples of Nidaria. How you re remember the example of Tinophora Pluto, P L for Pleurobrachia, and Pleurobrachia is something that you can remember from that. And to T E Tinophora uh, Tino. Uh, plana okay so actually it's it, it must be plute but to to remember uh you know planet pluto think about that pleurobrachia for pl and to is go actually te tinophora but tinophora starts with c tinoplana okay next move on to other examples platyhelminths fascinating t if you recall this you can understand platyhelminths fascinating fasciola which is known as liver fluke this one and tinea is the t tinea tapeworm this one then ask helminths or nimas nimat helminths anushka anushka again is the indian name but uh, normally anushka is s h k a but it is a, a n u s c a because of our remembered right a n for ancyclostomata okay or ancyclostomata actually in this case hookworm then goes with us usheridia filaria worm and then ca a for ascaris at the end so this is the example of ascaris which is provided in the picture then goes with anelida nehru's earth this is what you need to remember again if you are an indian it's very easy for you to understand because jawaharlal nehru was our prime minister so nehru's earth nehru is goes with neris okay and then hiru goes with hirudinaria leech and earth means earthworm means ferritima so this is a uh, the example this is how you remember anelida okay nehru's earth neris hirudinaria and earthworm then we have arthropoda best location is bali if you remember this sentence you can understand arthropoda best location is bali and bali is a tourist spot is becoming very very famous these days okay so location loc for locusta or locust and bali goes with li for limulus and a for apis and b for bombyx so bombyx apis and li for limulus and we can easily understand the example of arthropod we know about the examples of arthropods because we have encounter with insects all the time so it's quite easy for you to remember now let's move to the mollusca september october december 
and at the end cha pilo cha pilo is a hindi term for indians or uh, we all know cha pilo cha means tea pilo means drink so drink tea in this case cha pilo september october december cha pilo september october december october octopus september sepia and december is dentalium so these three are done octopus sepia and dentalium apart from that cha pilo right cha c h a keto pleura okay so or keto pleura also known as chiton then it goes with uh, pi for pila and lo for loligo or squid this is squid this is pila okay and the last thing is echinoderms or echinodermata an open cucumber this is how you remember echinodermata an open cucumber think about a cucumber which is cut open why an an for antedon antedon means sea lily open op for ophura brittle star and cucumber means cucumaria means sea cucumber right so this is how easy it is to remember echinodermata and open cucumber antedon ophura and cucumaria right this is how easy it is to remember these are all they looks like like pentaradial symmetry echinodermata that's how they looks like you know five different radial symmetries present there So that's how easy it is to remember the animal kingdom classification with the help of short tricks. So if you want to remember animal kingdom with short tricks, this video is just for you. And if your friends are preparing animal kingdom with tricks, then definitely share this video with them so that they get benefit from that. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.